Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody doing this a quick solo episode for you guys as Ryan Pulse has signed a free agent lineman. Not who we were thinking it was going to be, but a good depth player. I like this signing. Going to run through it with you guys. So the Bears have signed offensive guard Dakota Dozer. Yes, literally like a bulldozer. Perfect name for an offensive lineman, by the way, to a one-year contract. This gives help to an offensive line that last season at one point was so injury and COVID prone that they almost had to pull in defensive linemen to start playing the position or start signing guys to quick, easy contracts. So I like what Ryan Poles is doing. I think that this is the right move in regards to bringing in an older guy that knows the position, knows the division on top of it. And I'll go into a little bit more about that in a bit, but I really like this signing. I know no one's really heard of him. He's not a big name, but great job by Ryan Poles getting a cheap, even though the number is not fully disclosed. He he made $1 million last year, so it's probably going to be in the same ballpark around that. But a cheap, good mentor depth guy. So let's break him down a little bit more. Dakota Dozer. So he's 30 years old. He's 6'4", and he's 312 pounds. Doesn't really fit that Ryan Poles young athletic feel, but... This guy is really, really good at one area I'm going to get on in a minute. Before, let me run through a little bit more about him before we get into the more deep stats. He was drafted by the New York Jets back in 2013 in the fourth round. He is mainly a left guard. So that means, obviously, if this guy were to become a starter just in a crazy world, if he does become a starter, and I'm sure he would have success, um, if he were, he'd be a left guard. This means that Lucas Patrick would likely play center who the bears brought him in and likely will, will be putting him at because of that win rate percentage of run blocking at 72%, which he was third in the league last year at center doubts for Lucas Patrick, but going back to Dakota Dozer, uh, mainly left guard. He's a tough physical guy. He's not afraid to go against some of the big offense or defensive linemen in this league. Obviously he had to guard Akeem Hicks, Eddie Goldman, or back in 2020, I guess he didn't have to guard Eddie Goldman too much because he didn't play that season. But Blau Nichols, you know, Nick Williams, all those guys that the Bears had on the defensive line, he had to go against them and he didn't do too bad. So he has played in 76 games in his NFL career and has started 27 of them. So eh, not too respectful, but he started all 16 in 2020 for Minnesota. And out of his total of 20 starts with Minnesota, he started seven games with the New York Jets during his time there. He played every single offensive snap, every single offensive snap for the Minnesota Vikings in 2020. Pretty darn impressive. And here's where the real kicker is. And this is why I think Ryan Poles brought him in to be a mentor slash depth guy. Out of his 1,949 NFL snaps, he's only been penalized 14 times. If you do the math on that, that's 0.007% chance of him getting penalized all time. Something that the Bears have struggled with for years at the offensive line position that has hurt and been crucial in key moments in games of drive momentum killers. And I love that Ryan Poles is looking at this stat most likely in signing this guy and for a cheap contract. So he's not a flashy name, but he can be a good mentor to guys like Larry Borum, Tevin Jenkins, you know, Cody Whitehair and him are practically the same age, but you know, you can learn a thing or two from each other. And I, and then obviously Lucas Patrick as well. So this is a pretty good signing. The bears are definitely going to go out. If you watch our last video, which is about from third mock draft with Tony and I we're going heavy in offensive line. This guy could be a good mentor for them. He's not, again, he's not the guy that Ryan Poles is looking for in an offensive lineman, but again, depth is depth that helps out the Chicago bears. And I really like this signing. So That's a little bit about Dakota Dozer. Again, I love the name. I think it's awesome, especially being in Chicago Bears uniform. Big guy, you know, has has NFL experience and got him on a cheap contract. So he's only with us for a year for sure, but you never know. Could prove some people wrong and sign a contract after next season. So quick update on that. Just want to give you guys a quick update on our newest Chicago Bear. So welcome to Chicago, Dakota Dozer. My name is Nick Brody. Thank you for joining Just Another Year Chicago, and we'll see you guys next time.